Hey there scientists, so we are here and we're learning about pendulums. Let's check out our week. Now reminder, you can look at the weekly checklist more than once. So if you didn't know, it is now Wednesday. And here on Wednesday, what is our work? Well, for 4.1, that's Monday's work. The one stands for Monday, we did a discussion board. Tuesday was yesterday, we did a worksheet. And it is Wednesday, we are doing a worksheet again. And we are going to make two more pendulums with different lengths. And that is our big challenge today, to test length. Quick reminder, if you are Miss Pickard's class, you have a Google Meet today, Wednesday at 1030. And we can talk through this a little then. And Miss Traxler's class, your Google Meet is on Thursday. And that's how we can really get on track with everything. And just as a reminder, you have your work for the week all laid out for you here. And Miss Bush doesn't open everything at the same time, but I have everything planned and ready for you. It's just waiting to open. So here's our work for 4.3 pendulum length. We have now tested the variable of weight and two pennies did not change the outcome. We still had 12 swings. Then we tested the variable of the starting point and starting higher, starting lower did not change the outcome. This 38 centimeter pendulum keeps swinging 12 swings or an average of 12 swings. So we are going to try a third thing today. We are going to try changing length. And lucky us, in your kits, I gave you a lot of string. So I hope you still have your string because you need it today. Your job today is to make two more pendulums. And I'm worried this will be confusing, but I'm going to make a discussion board for today. On the discussion board, if let's say you pick a 13 centimeter pendulum, I just want you to share. I made a 13 centimeter and I got hmm, swings and tell us the number. Or maybe you'll pick 15. Maybe you notice on the discussion board that three kids did 15, so you try 17. Maybe you notice a lot of kids tried 17. You might pick 18. And then at the Google Meet with Miss Bush, I might go, oh, nobody did 22. Let's do that now in the Google Meet. You have enough string that you could make a 13 and you can make a 45. Maybe there's a couple of twins out there in fifth grade. Maybe you be, since you have twins, you could go for one of the really long ones. You might have enough. I'm not sure how much string you have. But I would like different kids to try to test different lengths. So now we have to remember, how do you make a pendulum? All right, let's move this camera angle. Do do do. There we go, that's pretty good, it's on the table. So step one is I take the end of my string and I tie it. And I like to do two knots, I go over poop and pull it through. You are going to use the same penny from the other experiments for this experiment. So that's why I gave you only one penny. You can reuse it a lot. And now we're going for 13 centimeters. I have my meter stick, but you have your paper meter stick. And here we go. I'm starting at zero and I go to 13. That's where I want it to loop so I get my tape. This is my sticker label and I put it just under there. And then I just have to get it just right. The more accurate you are, as you make your pendulum, the more accurate all of our results will be because we are going to be relying on each other to test some different lengths. Don't worry, Miss Bush can help with all of this. So there we go. A 13 centimeter pendulum. It's a teeny tiny baby pendulum. Check it out, baby pendulum. Kind of reminds me of the child from the show, The Mandalorian. I know, I know, I know. The child is not actually Baby Yoda, but I still call it Baby Yoda because it's so cute like a Baby Yoda. When I was a kid, my little sister is almost five years younger, and she was so cute. And there was three of us, and then uh, almost a five-year gap, and then her. And she had these big ears, and Star Wars was one of our favorite shows, and we used to call her Baby Yoda. I don't think she liked it very much. It probably was not nice of us thinking of it, but it is something we did. All right, I have a 13 centimeter pendulum, and I'm going to test this one out for all of you. We are trying to see how do we change the length, and we need to get some measurements. So let's give this one a try. I'm going to put it up here on my trusty pencil. Reminds me, rusty, trusty pencil, but it's not rusty. I'll open up my clock and I still have my 15 second timer set. Let's give this 
13 centimeter pendulum a try. Here we go. And I, we can write in the answer right there. Boop -a -doop. Oh, good. Screen's big. This one's hard to count. Okay. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I forgot. Oh, gosh, Miss Bush. I didn't add the penny. A pendulum, it has a fixed point, so that means it stays. And it's a string, and it's a weight. And what did I forget? The weight. Of course. Here we go. Take two, Miss Bush and the 13-centimeter penny. If we like to take 100, we have a problem this week. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. I just got the answer of 25, everyone. That is a big change. What do you think? Is it the weight that changes the number of swings for this pendulum? Is it the starting point or is it the length? Let's jump over to our whiteboard now that we have our data recorded. Our variables are what we're testing, and that's our big science idea we're learning. How does length, the length of the pendulum, how does length affect the number of swings? Our changed variable, the one we are purposely changing, Miss Bush took time to measure and change it, is the length of the pendulum. Our measured variable, that's our measured outcome, has not changed for all of this. It is the number of swings and our control variables. There are a lot now to make this a fair test. Let me move this camera for you. Those changed variables are time of 15 seconds. The release, I am not giving it a push. I do a gentle release. The weight, I am keeping the weight the same, one penny. The starting point, I am starting like parallel to the floor or table height. A lot of kids call it table height. And one penny, that's the weight, that's staying one penny. So lots of variables are staying the same. This, by the way, is the first thing you fill in on your worksheet. Let me jump over to that again. Can you see it still? On your worksheet, there it is. You need to write, how does the length affect the number of swings? Change variables, see green and green. I'm trying to help you out here, fifth grade. I don't want anyone super frustrated. The change variable is the length. The measured variable is the number of swings, and the control variables are all down there. If you want, this is a perfect time. Hit pause on this video and fill in those answers on your worksheet. Go ahead. You didn't really hit pause. I'm still moving. I'm just very good at being still. I like have a ninja style skill. Ninja Miss Bush. Okay, if you're not going to hit pause, make sure you go back and get these. I'm giving you the correct answers because I want your brain to know these things. All of these are a type of variable. And reminder, scientists are always changing things, trying to figure out what makes this pendulum change the number of swings. So scientists needed a word. And the scientists finally decided to call all of these words variables. So all of the things scientists change in their experiments have a word for them called variables. And scientists, my fifth grade learners, the other thing you should know, some of you have learned in math class, I know about variables. Right now, the variables you're learning in fifth grade math and the variables I'm teaching you about in science seem like opposite things. Till about middle school algebra, around eighth grade, you are going to really get into algebra and then you'll be like, oh, now I get it. They're actually the same idea. They are, they are the same idea, but I, I could show you later if you really wanna know, ask me at the Google Meet, but they actually are the same idea. But in math class, I know you use this letter X and that letter X is your variable. And sometimes you have something like six plus X equals 10. And then you have to figure out that X equals four. And X is a variable. Well, it's a variable because it is a thing that can change. And 
it all makes sense in eighth grade algebra. Trust me. If it doesn't make sense in eighth grade algebra, come back to Horseman and ask me. I would be happy to show you. All right, let's get back to your work. We only have one filled in so far. The 13 centimeter pendulum had 25 swings. We need to make more pendulums. Let's try something else out. I can try a 55 centimeter pendulum for you. Now, what do you do if your meter stick that I gave you, yours goes up to 42. How do you do that? Well, let's figure that one out right now. Lucky duckies, I know this video is getting long, but you could hit pause, get your string, and you can make your big pendulum. If you're doing all the work with me, you will be done by the end of this long video. So coming down onto my table, here we go. Step one, find that sneaky paper clip and tie it to the end. Always step one, just get it tied on. Boop -a -doop -a -doo, get that knot. And pull it good and tight, and you can leave that dangling it. Step two, if we are going for, did we say 45 or 55? Both would be great, we would need both. I'm going to use your measuring tape. Now I start at zero. And I'm just going to do it like this. This is 40 right there where my thumb is. Here's a trick. I could just go from my thumb, come back down to zero, and there's my five, 45. I know of a 45, and I did it with my small tape measure. Now, if you have a bigger meter stick at your house, then you could use that. Maybe your parents have a tape measure that you've used before. And I'm going to tear this tape one-handed. Look at that mad tape tearing skills. And I'm going to get my tape on here. Sometimes something Miss Bush does with her pendulums. I do make a lot of pendulums, right? An odd skill to have in life. I double check. Did I get 45? Oh, I did. I got 45. All right, let's give this 45 pendulum swinger a swing. Here we go, friends. Doot, doot, doot. I probably should switch the camera, but we're going for 45 right here. You didn't need that little camera. You needed the big one. Silly me. Hey, hey there. I'm big again. So here we go. Boop, boop. Okay, I, you would actually have enough to make three for the amount of string I gave most of you. So you could test more. I need my pendulum. I need my 15 second timer. This is longer than the 38 centimeter pendulum. So will I get more swings or less swings? Or will I still get that 12? Do you have a prediction in your head? Do you? If you are not ready for the 15 second timer, you can hit pause on this video and do it. I am giving away free answers. You could have your work all basically done by the end of the video. Here we go. We're testing the length. This is a 45 centimeter pendulum. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, I got 11. I think I want to test that a few more times to be really sure. But to keep this video moving, we would write in 45 is 11. Now, I need your help testing more lengths. Let's see if there's a pattern to this. Could we even start to make predictions without testing them and see if they're true? We will work on this in the Google Meet, but I'd also like you to work on it on your own. You already know a 13 centimeter pendulum gives you 25 swings. A 38, that was our starting one, gave us 12. And our 45 gave us 11. So you have a claim and evidence to write at the bottom of your work. Claim the length of the pendulum, hmm, effect does or does not affect the number of swings. Fill that in. Evidence I tested, well we tested a 13 centimeter pendulum and a 45 centimeter pendulum. And I observed, Blank swings in 15 seconds. Did you observe more or less? Let us know. Claim an evidence. Oh, it says add a picture of you and your pendulum as you test the new links. I like to see your smiles. Add some smiles to your work. It makes grading way more fun for Miss Bush. And I want to see how you are doing with your pendulums. I'll see what the Google Meets. We can talk about this a lot in the Google Meets. In fact, bring your pendulums and have them ready at the Google Meets. We can go to breakout rooms and test them. Have a great, great day, everyone. Good luck with your work.